Spitalfield City Farm is an amalgamation of about 10 different projects, I'd say. Um, we are a food growing project, we are an environmental project, we are a, 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 a farm where we keep farm animals, where we produce eggs. We're um, a, a social project, a women's project, with lots and lots of different things. My role is a community gardener, so I'm in charge of a new area of land that we've released from Transport for London, which is about a quarter of an acre, and we're bringing together lots and lots of different members of the community to grow their food together, learn food skills, and um, you know, I'd say for sort of like the core of 20 to produce a significant, a very significant, if not the majority of their vegetables on our patch and some fruit. We got the grant in 2011. In 2011. 2010-2011 the, the community garden really was very much in the early stages there was no food being grown there was just wasteland and um, there was you know the, the community structure was was not really in place yet so through the community uh, the, the, the two thousand pounds from Timberlands we were able to put in but first of all put in place training courses and really get some uh, some food growing going so we had raised beds put in fruit bushes put in uh, and vegetables put in and then already by summer 2011 we had a very productive garden. I'd say about 20 households were fed off that garden for the whole of that summer and still going on into that winter there was still a lot of food coming off and then you know summer 2012 there was still a lot of food coming off from that £2,000. We're just looking at the new garden that we're building here on the site with the funding that we've had and what we're trying to do put in place is a garden that will be here for sort of like 20, 30, 40 years time. We've tried to incorporate uh, both a place that people can relax and connect and also a place where there's bounteous food production and also a place that's enriching the local wildlife and not dependent on local water and electricity resources. Through the Timberland funding that we had in the summer of 2011 we were able to cover one fifth of the, the uh, plot with growing spaces that was bringing in sleepers bringing in topsoil using our own compost that we have here so I'm just going to point I mean basically it's all covered with rubble at the moment but it's this area just here the area over there the area along the back wall which is what which was a lot of fruit production and along the west along that fence which was a lot of fruit production intermingled with vegetables the fruits have all been potted up to the side just ready to be planted, planted into the new forest garden I think there's been two massive outcomes out of the Timberland grant and they have been bounteous food production insofar as all the households that we've been able to feed through the Guardian and social cohesion when you think about all the different people who've come down, forged relationships and grown food together. This summer, we've got a number of plans. Most of all, it's sort of like produce loads of food, get loads of different people down here. It will all be communicated through Project Dirt and the website, so please just follow us on Project Dirt.